Well, folks, I can go ahead and tell you that in the coming days, I'm going to have more videos talking about uh, how MAGA is accusing those of us on the left of turning up the temperature in the room. They say that it's our rhetoric that is creating the tension, and we're the ones that needs to dial it back. I say they're attempting to gaslight us. I say they're the ones that have been cranking up the temperature in the room, and we've brought so many receipts, and we need to continue to do so to expose them for who they truly are. But this story right here is one that I'm seeing getting some coverage, and I'm glad to see some people covering it, but I do believe that it needs to be talked about more because it's this type of rhetoric that's dangerous. Uh, it's this type of rhetoric that no one should want to live under. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, independent, in the middle, undecided, you don't pay attention. No one should want your sheriff encouraging people in your town to write down the names of people who supports a political candidate. But that's what's happening in Ohio, and I'm going to bring up this story here from uh, Troy Matthews of the Midas Touch Network, Ohio Sheriff asked residents to track homes with Harris lawn signs and calls immigrants locust. And so many times, folks, when I read these headlines, I automatically want to say, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud in 2024. I never dreamed this is where we would be as a country, but unfortunately, here we are. So here's the guy right here. This is the sheriff. And uh, Republican Portage County, Ohio Sheriff Bruce Zukowski posted an alarming message on Facebook over the weekend calling on constituents to identify the homes of Kamala Harris supporters by lawn signs so they can be made to house immigrants whom he called locusts. When people ask me what's going to happen if the flip-flopping, laughing hyena wins, he wrote, I say write down all the addresses of the people who had her signs in their yards so when the illegal human locust which she supports, needs a place to live, will already have the addresses of their new families who supported their arrival. Folks, that's one of the most disgusting things that I've ever read. And to think that this is a man that is looking over his town is pretty damn scary, to be honest. But uh, going on down here in the story, the post also features images of Fox News host reports on immigration was met with widespread backlash and alarm in the community. Zukowski shut off comments on the post, but it is still up as of this writing and obviously as of this video. Uh, according to the local newspaper, the Portager, Portager, I guess I'm saying that right, at least two comments were left by residents saying they would be tracking down the homes of Harris supporters. One replied with the name and street of a person they said was a Harris supporter and said, I'll add that name to the list. Another said, making a list and checking it twice. Now, just think about this, folks. You go out and you show your support for Kamala Harris by putting a sign in your yard, and your neighbor goes out and basically doxes you, writes down your name and address, and puts that online for everyone to see. Imagine all the unhinged people that are sitting back listening to all this hateful MAGA rhetoric and they get told, write down their names. They have absolutely pitted an us against them type mentality. They truly believe, like in the video that I released earlier about the MAGA supporter who said, they're taught to believe that we are the enemy of the country. We are the vermin that needs to be rooted out. And imagine you just put a sign in your yard and then you look over and see that your name's been leaked on Facebook and people are writing it down and they're making the list and checking it twice. This is absolutely ridiculous that something like this is happening. But here was his post. Here's the post that he made on Facebook. And then let's go on here with the story. In response to the post, Portage County Commissioner Tony, I can't pronounce his last name, announced his resignation. This is not the leadership I want to be a part of, he said in a video post. Uh, Zukowski posted that we should all copy down the addresses of the people that display political signs which are different from our beliefs. It scares people. It's called bullying from the high law enforcement official in Portage, Portage County. The Portager reported that several residents contacted the paper saying they were frightened by the post and the response. I have a sign in my yard. Our sheriff is asking MAGA to write down our addresses. This is not normal and it's scary, one person said. And folks, by the way, that sheriff is running for re-election come November. So I say... That guy needs to be voted out and anybody that thinks this is normal and anybody that thinks this is okay really needs to check yourself because I live in a world where I am surrounded by people who disagree with me. And I've talked in previous videos about how I'm not seeing as much support for Trump this go around as I did back in 2016. I'm not seeing as many signs. 
But I would never, and I said in a video that I can count about three different people that I knew that had signs in my hometown. Not one time am I ever going to get on here and give you their names. I'm not going to give you their addresses. I'm not going to tell you to ever go harass them or do anything to them. And I'm not going to suggest that they should have to house someone. That's just so ridiculous to me. I would never do that to someone who has a different political belief than me, even if it is someone as deranged as Donald Trump. And the idea, you know, I don't see a whole lot of Harrison Wall sign in my part of the world for this kind of reason, because there have been so many stories over the years in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, back uh, during the, I think it was when Obama was running against Romney. And I may have that wrong, but I, it was one of the Obama elections where a lady in Knoxville just kept having her sign destroyed and she just kept going back and putting it back up. She refused to back down. But I know so many people in my part of the world who will say, yeah, I'm for Harris. I'm supporting her and I'm supporting Walls, but I'm not going to put a sign in my yard. There's people that won't put a bumper sticker on their car. Hell, I know musicians who definitely won't put a sticker on their guitar case because they don't want to walk into a bar and then never be asked back. Uh, that's the kind of world that so many of us live in when we say we live in the Bible Belt or we say we're a blue dot. Those are the kind of things we're referring to. That is the type of harassment that people like us has faced. And now there's a sheriff telling uh, people in the town to write down the addresses. And he's suggesting that that because, because we support you know people that wants to come to this country and make a better way for themselves, he's suggesting that we house them when uh, when they get here. It's that type of hate and that type of cruelty that when it falls into the hands of unhinged people, unhinged things are going to happen. It is not us that's turning up the temperature. All we're sitting over here doing is asking for people to have health care. We're asking for women to have rights to their bodily autonomy and rights to make their own medical decisions. We're asking that the government stays out of their uh, doctor's office. We're asking that people have equal rights. We're asking that gay and trans people are treated the same way as we are. We're, ask, we're not asking for a handout. We're asking that everybody has a better hand to play in this world. And we're asking for a cleaner environment. We're asking for people who who recognizes uh, and, and will acknowledge science and will acknowledge medicine and stop demonizing it. We're, we want to restore faith in our democracy and not have it demonized. Those are the things that we're over here talking about. What we're talking about is not a radical agenda. What we're talking about is not radical at all. That my friends, is a radical agenda. When you're saying to your voters, write down their addresses so that we can know who they are and where they're at. That's why more. That's why you don't see the Harris Wall signs because I know what's going to happen. When she wins in November, I'm going to hear people in my part of the world go, man, I didn't see not one sign. I know where. I didn't see not one bumper sticker. It's because of people like you who goes around destroying those things. It's because of people like you who goes around bullying people and I know so many people, I've worked with people in the past that would lean in and whisper, I agree with your YouTube videos, but I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to get raped over the coals with these people because I don't want to walk into work every day and constantly be attacked. And I get messages from people every day who say, I'm behind you, Brando. I'm supporting you. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm not in a position where I can. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to get harassed. I don't want to get a cross burned in my lawn. That's, that's, that's basically where we're at, folks. So don't come at me telling us that we're the ones that needs to dial back the rhetoric. When you have a sheriff in a town doing that, that is bullying. That is straight up bullying. That is straight up fascism. There is nothing American about that at all. And I don't care where you fall on the political spectrum. You should not be for that. And I would not be for doxing Trump supporters and telling my followers to go do something to them. Uh, I disagree with them. And I tell you why every day. And I tell you why that I will be voting against them every day. But they're still, at the end of the day, my fellow Americans, they still live alongside me. And if something were to come through my town, uh, some natural disaster ripped through here, I would roll up my sleeves and I would not give a damn what sign was in their yard. I would roll up my sleeves to go to work next to them because that's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to live in fear. We should be allowed to express ourselves however we want to and not be in fear that someone's going to write down our address and sick their followers on us. All that does is fall into the hands and the ears of people that doesn't need to hear it. There are so many people out there struggling with mental illness, so, by, so many people out there buying into this stuff, and they just keep creating these stories. They just keep putting it out there. So I'm going to be making more videos about this uh, coming up. I'm going to be talking about a clip that I saw where Don Lemon went on CNN and just absolutely uh, laid waste to them about this topic. So uh, look forward to that video. I look forward to making it for you. 
um, we're not going to turn down the temperature because we're not the ones turning it up. It's on them and they need to look in the mirror and they need to acknowledge what they've done and they need to call out that kind of behavior. They need to call that out. And I would love to hear them say just one time without using their racist dog whistles and without throwing around threats, I would like to hear them say back to us that we have the right to support who we want to. I'm not going to hold my breath, but we'll wait and see.